welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to use the 8-inch killer reel from the DeLong lures. This guide will work with the 8-inch, as well as the 13-inch version of the killer eel. The killer eel has been around for quite a while, primarily a musky bait, but has seen huge success in also catching northern pike. The killer eel comes with two single hooks, a 7 out in the front and a 5 out in the back. The two small fins up front help with stabilization and allow the eel to glide down when you pause your retrieve. The back fin is also for stabilization and helps the eel track and keep moving forward. As with all the long lures, the eel is scented with anise oil, which helps attract more fish and also works as a cover set. To use the killer eel, first thing is to attach the bait to your line with a steel or heavy fluorocarbon leader. This will keep toothy fish like musky and pike from biting off your line. Simply cast the bait after the eel hits the water. Give it a quick second to sink. Before beginning your retrieve, this will allow the bait to orientate itself properly. There are several effective ways to retrieve the killer eel. First, you can work it like a jerk bait, giving some hard snaps and pauses as you retrieve it. Second, you can work it like a glide bait, giving it some snaps and then letting it glide down on its own. Don't be afraid to change up your speed and cadence. Sometimes fish will be enticed by a fast-moving bait and other times. A slower presentation will do the trick, enticing a strike. Don't forget to do your figure eight. After your retrieve, but without bringing your bait out of the water, keep the bait moving in a figure eight motion. Muskie and pike are known to follow a bait before committing to a strike. The figure eight strategy will help you catch more fish, not just with the killer eel, but all muskie and pike baits. When the fish strikes, give a quick second before setting the hook to avoid pulling the eel out of the fish's mouth. Catching fish on the killer eel is an exciting experience. Have patience and work the eel along weedy points, rock beds, submerged structures, and drop-offs, and you won't be disappointed. Good luck on your fishing adventures and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more lure guides and muskie and pike content.